going diving for the first time was an incredible experience. All of a sudden, colors are very different, sound seems to come from all directions. On a coral reef, life is everywhere. So it's just everywhere. And from that point forward, I knew that I really wanted to specialize on these deeper reef communities. In 2016, we actually saw a major event that affected coral reefs around the world. It's estimated that we lost about half of the coral on the northern Great Barrier Reef. Actually witnessing that leaching firsthand was a major turning point in my career. From that point onward, I started to feel a real responsibility to start studying these reefs in a way that could more actively contribute to their survival. So my group at the California Academy of Sciences uses imaging and genomic methods to study the ecology of coral reefs. Things have changed for us as coral reef biologists a lot in the past couple of decades. With genomics and imaging technologies, it's no longer a field science. Now it's very much a data science. Of data that we collect from the field, we need programming languages like R and Python to analyze our results. With these kind of analysis, we can actually identify the genotypes within a population that hold most promise for survival. At the same time, we can also see whether there's enough of those individuals to really be viable into the future. Coral reefs are incredibly important, there's no doubt about it. They host 25% of marine species. They provide food and livelihood to 500 million people. They contribute billions to our global economy. There's no doubt that coral reefs are important. With these new technologies, I do have hope that we can preserve coral reefs for future generations.